It's day one of the tour. We are off to Bristol today. Uh, tomorrow, London, Sheffield, then Glasgow, then Belfast. And we are going to take you with us on pretty much every step of the way. We're going to do a lot of content. We're going to be making content of the speakers, of the keynotes, um, of just stuff that happens in the van, some daily vlogs. Our big tour bus van. Let's show you around. Oh, look, Hello. vloggers everywhere. <laughs> Come on in. So this is our van, uh, expertly parked by George this morning. Uh, we've got everything, everything we need. So when you're on tour nowadays, you get PlayStation in the van, it's pretty good. Uh, plenty of room for gear. Uh, we've got six seats in the back, three seats in the front with driver. Everything you need. Uh, yes, yeah, we're in Guildford, so we've just stopped off to get Mark. We're picking people up on the road. But the best news of the day is tomorrow in London is sold out. We're doing the garage, 150 people. I think we've got 160 booked in. There'll be a few no-shows. So, so this tour is really, really building. And we've had so many people who are asking us about coming to different cities. So maybe this will be a new thing. And maybe I'll turn up on a motorbike. Which... Right, we're back in the van, we're off to Bristol next stop. Although Costa, toilet, not working, and everyone needs a wee, so we're stopping the services. Um, so we've got Mark, and we've got Bruce, we've got Francois, uh, and we've got George, uh, and, Cla and Claire is on the phone. Yeah, so you know, Claire's working. Claire's always working. She works hard. Uh, and Morgan. Because <laughs> <laughs> um, it used to be the case, like when we were back at BIM and we talked about the record label and stuff, about having this library. Yeah, you like yeah. build up the library and then you sell. Of catalogue. Yeah, catalogue. Yeah. And all of a sudden, you know, when you're on your fifth, sixth, seventh album, all of a sudden you've got this backlog of stuff. Whereas now, I just feel it's more of a brand. You build a brand, and then it's how you monetize the brand. Yeah, yeah. Because if you've monetized, if, if you've, you know, if you were a band like Architects, for example, yeah, yeah. they've got like a million people over their social media. Yeah. So not only are they touring and making money from touring, but then what happens is they all stop. Yeah. And nothing happens. The money doesn't come in, which they, I don't think needs to be the case anymore. I think you could look at it and go, well, hang on, just because we stop, yeah, the yeah. brand carries on. Yeah. Which, which works on, you know, which works on, every other industry apart from the music industry and they make it all about the band instead yeah, yeah, of saying yeah. well hang on a minute we can carry on making content you can monetize content well we'll see this with old bands like you know when iron maiden are no more and acdc are you know completely gone yeah then someone will buy the brand yeah absolutely. and then they'll be you know and the irony the next is, generation doing the acdc thing i suppose the irony of that whatever is we think of that when acdc are no, are no more and the and some big company buys the brand to monetize some yeah. big capital investment company yeah you better believe they'll they won't worry about the members of the band no. they'll pimp it out to everywhere they can yeah. boom sorry that's my mum uh, so it is uh, 20 past four so we're in Bristol now we've got a set up, so we're in the exchange tonight. So the whole point when we did put this music industry event together is we wanted to actually go and do the venues that bands play because that makes it more real. We don't want to be in the back of a, a community centre or, or, or some kind of church back room. We wanted the actual sticky venues that you guys play. So first venue on tour is the exchange in Bristol. So let's go and check it out. Ooh, the lights. <clears throat> so, full stage. So we're working towards, I think tonight, probably 70 to 90 people come in. Uh, tomorrow in London, sold out 150 people, couldn't take any more people. 
so the numbers are looking really, really good, which is great. So should be a lot of fun. How are you doing? Um, right, so it's half past six and everything is going really, really well. People are arriving. It's really exciting because even though um, this isn't a band, it feels just like the same thing as doing a band. We're going on tour, we've hired out the usual venues um, and all of a sudden people are arriving uh, and coming in and saying hi. Um, so it's really, really exciting. But So we're making a lot of content. That's the whole point of this is we're getting out and making a lot of content with different people from different avenues and aspects of the music industry. Uh, now, a lot of this content won't be featured on my channel. I'll be doing vlogs um, and I'll post the bits of me, I guess. Um, but there is a lot of really, really good content that's going to feature, which is on Water Bears YouTube. So if you want to check out a lot of interviews with some of the, the artists, um, so tonight is, is the guys from Skindred, uh, Toby Jepson from Wayward Sons and Little Angels, um, a guy called Rob Stampede from Stampede Press, Claire Lloyd is here, obviously Bruce and Mark and myself are doing some stuff. So all of this content is going to be featured on Water Bear, which is um, all, of their, all of their platform is is at We Are Water Bear. So if you want to go and check that out and add add yourself onto them, that'd be great because there's some really good stuff coming. Anyway, get out! <laughs> future of social media, what's next and how to do X, Y, and Z. Let me tell you something very, very simple that everybody fucks up with social media. It's really, really simple. How can you bring your audience value? What do they want and give it to them? As simple as that. So my job as someone who helps people with social media and musicians is to give people exactly that. And if I do that, they'll come back every day. And my job from there is to look after people like they've never been looked after before. And something I say a lot is, imagine if this was a gig, right? And I walked off the stage and one of you walked up to me and went, dude, that's fucking awesome. Imagine if I went. <laughs> You'd be like, fucking douchebag. But that's what we do. We just like, don't make me type stuff. Ooh, I just like it, that'll do. Why? It's an opportunity. We did one of these in Brighton and, and some guy in the audience was like, how am I supposed to get on the radio? I've only got 500 followers. And I was like, stop. 500, you've only got 500 followers. Only. Stop. Think of it like this. You've got 500 followers. You go back 20 years, that's fucking mind-blowing. That's like, you've got 500 people that are going, yeah, this is great. I'll, yeah, just send me a message. That is amazing. And so if you've got 500 or 600, it doesn't matter because it's the power of one person. When one person says hello, you have a conversation. You don't say, be my mate, be my mate, be my mate. I asked this one, I asked this one, I asked. You don't do that. You just, you're real. You have conversations and you build up a... A, a longevity, and that's the key, the longevity, because, as Bruce pointed out, it's not race anymore. You can be doing this in 30 years. So it's half past 12 and we are done. We're traveling back, we're in the services. Talk went amazingly. I really want you guys to watch it. I want you to see the whole thing. Loads and loads of bits are gonna go up on the Water Bear YouTube, which I'll make sure go up. But also, I'm gonna put some stuff on my channel as well. Um, I met some really great people. I made some really good friends. We've still got four more dates on this tour, so I'm very, very excited. So anyway, grab some cup of tea 
and then we're on hitting the road. So like, subscribe, and uh, catch you later.